seems like the right time to put some skin in the game. And Robinhood is right there with you. So you can buy now with no trading fees ever. Without even missing your lunch break. Yeah, that commercial didn't age well. Is the ace of Vegas, the ace of Vegas. Hey there, Spinners and Sharks, Ace of Vegas here, and I hope you're doing well. Now, I'm sure by this point all of you have been embroiled in last week's incident with Reddit's Stonks to the Moon meme. And while a certain company has been falling over itself apologizing to irate users, like me, I've been thinking, is it a good idea to invest in Vegas? It's just like the old saying goes, the only surefire way to make money in a casino is to own one. And admittedly, that's pretty true. But given the cost of these mega casinos, the average Joe can't afford one. I mean, I do own the space of Vegas, but unfortunately, that casino isn't real. But then I thought to myself, technically, you can own a casino, or at least a small part of it. That's fundamentally what a stock is, a security that represents the ownership of a fraction of a corporation. This entitles the owner of the stock to a portion of the company's assets and profits equal to how much of the stock they own. So the shorter version is you can get a bit of your money back eventually. With most of these companies being publicly traded, I decided to do some research and see which of the major strip properties were ones I could buy. Now before we start, I want you guys to keep in mind that I am not a financial planner, I am not an investment banker, I am not a stockbroker, and I am certainly not a hedge fund operator. I'm forming personal opinions based on the reading I've done about the opinions of actual experts in the field. I'll cite my sources for you so you can read them on your own. And for the record, I am in no way trying to, nor am I qualified to, give you any sort of financial advice. I just thought this would be an interesting topic to discuss and decided to bring it up on the channel. So with that out of the way, let's get started. So the four largest companies on the strip in the casino game specifically are these. MGM Resorts International, Caesars Entertainment, Las Vegas Sands Corporation, and Wynn Resorts Incorporated. Now I've been watching the stocks and they seem to differ largely from when I last checked them seriously, back when MGM was quote, considering a merger with Caesars. For one, it looks like Caesars is in the lead with growth. At their lowest point last year, they were sitting around $7.77. Now 11 months and one merger later, they're sitting much closer to $70 a share like they were last February before COVID hit. MGM has made a pretty similar journey, moving from roughly $7 to $8 a share all the way back up to their pre-Las Vegas shutdown price of $30 a share. Wynn has stayed relatively strong after the news about their casinos closing, as it plummeted down to $44 a share on the low end, but has made it back up to roughly $100 since the reopening. And finally, we have Las Vegas Sands, responsible for the Venetian, who's remained relatively stable even amongst the news of closings and the loss of Sheldon Adelson, dropping down from the mid-70s down to the low 40s during the shutdown, and are presently floating around $50 a share. Now, based on that, it would seem as though the message is pretty clear. Win is the best stock and MGM is the worst. Case closed, end of video. But apparently that's not true. According to an article written by SureDividend.com, the rankings would be closer to this. Win is actually the bottom stock on their list, with the reasons being the potential for volatility after the extreme losses last year. My amateurish eye isn't one for stock strategies, but from the reading I've done on them, Sure Dividend seems to focus on long-term strategies and holds, so it's certainly their least favorite of the big four on the list. Next, they've recommended MGM. Despite having the lowest price of the main companies on the strip, they found MGM to be a better bet. Pun intended. They certainly suffered as a result of the Vegas and Macau shutdowns, but they don't have as much skin in Macau as Wynn has, and they've apparently suffered a lot less for it. Revenue only declined by 66%, as opposed to Wynn's 78% as of December 2020. There's some talk of reduced dividends, too, but that's certainly more important for someone who's already heavily invested into MGM to deal with. And finally, at the top of the list, there's Las Vegas Sands. 
That's a Venetian in Palazzo, formerly owned and operated by the late Sheldon Adelson himself. Sands is the top contender for a few reasons. First, they're currently a crowd favorite in Japan to get a gaming license and build properties out there. Second, apparently there's a lot of liquidity in the company. I'm not sure if, at the time the article was written, they were counting on Big Sheldon's fortune to be a company asset or not, so that may have changed since his passing. And most importantly, there's a new light rail system in China connecting them to Macau, where Sands has a surprising market share. That, and having a relatively strong balance sheet, puts them on top. Now, I noticed that Caesars wasn't mentioned anywhere in the top four list for some reason. So, I decided to do some more research on investing in Vegas. Sands vs. Wynn was a very popular topic, but Caesars required a special search. I finally settled on a Motley Fool article in hopes that I'd actually get a few answers. And while they discussed the possibilities of online gambling and the relatively stable outcome of the physical Vegas properties, the subheading that drew my attention was, Why Caesars May Not Be Worth the Risk. The biggest detriments were that Caesars has sold off quite a few of their assets to make it through the tough times, and doesn't have much left to squeeze out of their flagship properties if the tough times continue much longer. And even more importantly, they're in debt. Not like regular $40,000 in student loan debt, we're talking $16.2 billion in debt and they only managed to pull in less than $500 million all of third quarter 2020. I'm no investing genius, but I'm not sure how you can pay off $16 billion in debt with only half a million dollars and keep your shiny gold building at the same time. Also, I think it's worth keeping in mind that these are publicly traded companies, and they post their balances online for current and future investors to look over. So their billions of dollars in losses are on full display, same as their room rates, same as their buildings, and same as the offers that they're tossing around on their websites to try and get you into the door to gamble, and finally fix that deficit. So what can we conclude from all this? That, the nearest I can tell, apparently having a good stock price doesn't make a stock a good investment within itself. Also, that MGM and Venetian stock is a lot less expensive than I would have figured. And apparently, dividends have been largely suspended or else greatly reduced to help these companies survive the crisis at hand. So they might not be as lucrative as I assumed they were when I started my research. Or who knows, maybe some Redditor is going to see this video and decide to pump and hold MGM stock for a while. But what do you guys think? I'm not asking for financial advice, again for the record, but I am curious about if anyone's ever considered betting on the house in Las Vegas the Wall Street way. Either which way, I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comment section down below. Okay, Spinners and Sharks, that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed today's episode and found it informative, I'd appreciate a like, and consider subscribing if you haven't already. Next time, we'll get back to proper Vegas fun and less Vegas business. Now I have to write an angrily worded letter to a certain financial services company that may or may not have the ethical backbone of a chocolate eclair. But until next time, this is Ace of Vegas signing out, and I'm wishing you strong hands, and of course, happy spinning, you guys. Viva Ace of Vegas 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 Viva Ace of Vegas